Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the first topic of our geography subject. So let us have a look at it. The earth and the graticule. In this chapter we will be learning about our planet earth and its graticule. Graticule means the imaginary lines drawn on the globe or a map. Let us learn about the graticule in detail. Let me first start with an example. These are four students from four different countries who are helping the traveler reach India to visit the Taj Mahal. On asking who knew the location, Everyone answered that they knew the location. The answers given by them were South, West, North, East. The traveler got confused as to which direction should he go. But the answers given by these four students were correct. But it did not help the traveler. Why? Because each one directs the traveller from their own place. The traveller couldn't understand how to reach the destination. This can happen to most of us. So in order to overcome this problem, geographers came with a solution. They drew imaginary lines on the earth. How did this help? Let us first have a look at these horizontal and vertical lines drawn on the globe or a map. The vertical lines drawn on a map or a globe are called meridians or longitudes. The horizontal lines drawn are called parallels or latitudes. This is a graticule. The imaginary lines, that means the latitudes and longitudes or in the other words parallels and meridians drawn on the map together makes a graticule. It appears to us like a net. These lines will not be able to help us to locate a place on the earth. So to make it more precise and accurate. Jewelers have numbered each line. The lines like equator and prime meridian are numbered as 0 degree. And as we move away from these lines, the numbers go on increasing. So that means from equator that is 0 degree to south pole 90 degree and north pole 90 degree. The prime meridian 0 degree to east 180 degree and west 180 degree. We write the parallels and meridians in this format. For example, meridians 65 degree east or some other meridian like 150 degree west or the 0 degree prime meridian parallels like 45 degree north or 0 degree equator or 5 degree south. Degree is the measuring unit like 1 liter milk, 1 kg rice, 1 meter cloth, 1 degree south. So here liter, kilogram, meter, degree is used to measure the quantity. Hence all these are called as measuring units. And hence degree is also termed as a measuring unit. Nowadays, 
in most of the systems such as GPS, this method of graticule is used. With the help of this technology, we will be easily able to find a place. Most of us use Google Maps while traveling long distances because it helps us to locate the exact place. So, that's it with the first lesson. So, I will take your leave now. Take care. God bless.